think I have everything finally set up. Managed to be here any minute now. I think that's her car in the driveway. Okay, gotta act natural. Be cool, handsome. Be cool. <laughs> There's this look on her face. Hey, Dad. Hmm. Off to a good start. Something fishy? Rats. Oh, <laughs> uh, our party. Sorry, sweetie, it's the feds. That life of crime is finally catching up to you. I tried to send him in a different direction, but even I'm no match for the power and funding of the U.S. government. Ugh. Oh, they're gonna take me alive? They got another thing coming. I'm kidding. You're right. I was surprised. Uh, yeah, I can tell. I'm very bad at lying. Especially the party. <laughs> the kitchen where a present lies on the tablecloth. Let's get to this party! <laughs> Everyone's here! What? Everybody's hanging out, even though we ignore the rest of you in favor of our romance. <laughs> you told me not to make a big deal about it, but you seem to have forgotten that my entire mission in life is to make a big deal out of all your accomplishments. So consider this your graduation party. Surprise! Uh, everyone's here. Well, yeah, everyone wanted to come and support you. Yeah. Even Brian. Even Brian. Is that... A mac and cheese bar, you bet your sweet ass, honey. Fully customizable, down to the type of mac. It's an ice cream cake. The good kind, with the crunches in the middle. Hey. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Just go have fun with your pals, all right? So proud of you, Amanda. Amanda smiles and runs to her friends. She make the rounds, make sure everyone's having a good time. But first, mac and cheese. Man's gotta have his priorities. Walk over to Mary's having a lively conversation with Amanda. Listen, kid, you're gonna need some real life skills out there if you're gonna make it out in the streets. I'm going to college. Mm. Same thing. Look, I know you're not old enough to drink. Mm. Right. And I know you're smart enough not to drink until you're of legal age. Uh huh. Mm. But hypothetically, if you were to drink, it'd behoove you to drink a glass of water between rounds. Got it. Aww. Hypothetically. And if you were to wake up with a headache, all you gotta do is take a jar of pickles and drink the pickle juice. You're gonna be fine. <laughs> What's going on here? Girl talk. <laughs> Mary turns back to Amanda. Mm -hmm. Now let me tell you about the deal. <laughs> how to deal with a bad roommate. First thing you know, you get a straight A's if they died during the semester. Oh yeah. Mary. <sighs> Relax. It's a myth. Hey. Supposedly. Against my better ju judgment, I leave them be. Hmm, I don't recognize that girl by the snack table. I should go say hello. I was like, looks, she looks good. I think we, we, we have an idea. You wouldn't be related to someone we know. Hi, I don't think we've met. Oh, we've met years ago. And I'm here for my revenge. <laughs> You're Robert's kid, aren't you? Huh? Spot on. I guess that makes you handsome, huh? Yeah, it's nice to meet you. I'm glad Robert brought you along. He promised there would be free food, so that's kind of hard to pass up. And look, I don't know you, but I can get can I get real with you for a sec? My old man's a real closed book, you know. Me and him, we got a long way to go. You don't erase decades of neglect in a week, but you can get tired of staying angry about it. That kind of bitterness poisons you, I think. I'm too young for that. Anyway, lately he's been better, a lot better. And between him shaving for once and how much he talks about you, I get the feeling you have something to do with it. So, thanks. Robert means a lot to me. I'm glad he's getting better. Just keep an eye on him while I'm not around, okay? Or else. <laughs> what? I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, or am I? Yep, definitely related. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like this. <laughs> I think it runs in the family. <laughs> Man, it trots up to the conversation. Hmm. Hey, I love your necklace. <laughs> and your hair. Hmm. And just, jeez, your whole vibe is cool. <laughs> Thanks. I like your jacket. My girlfriend collects pens, too. <laughs> oh, this is my daughter, Amanda. Amanda, this is Robert Sauter Val. Nice meeting you. I heard you're a photographer. Huh. Aspiring photographer. I'm going to school for it. 
You take pictures? Yes. Then you're a photographer. Welcome to the biz. <laughs> Val hands Amanda a business card. If you're ever looking for internships, shoot me an email. Anyway, I need to go make friends with that woman over there who's dual wielding wine glasses. Catch you later. <laughs> Val walks away. She's so cool. She gave me a business card. She touched my hand. I know. They're just a cool family. I was like, I can see. I mean, you, you Amanda, could possibly grow up to look vaguely like that. You've got a similar. You've got a similar way about you. Congrats. You just networked for the first time. I'm a regular business lady now. Quarterly projections, stock market, synergy. While you're making a fortune as a businesswoman, I gotta keep this party going. Catch you around, Pops. That's, um... Brian, you made it. Ah, I don't pass up on good Mac. I know. What do you think of the party? It's not bad. Not as good as one I could have held. Yeah. Just not bad? Yeah, that's not bad. Don't let him bait you. Don't let him bait you. This happens every time. Thank you for the lovely compliment. Daisy trots up. Hi, Amanda's dad. Hey, Brian's daughter. <laughs> See? See how that feels? It's a really great party. Thank you so much for inviting us. You're very welcome, tiny child who knows how to pay a compliment. Brian and I lock eyes. This isn't over. Hey, bro. Bro. It's a real rager, taking our old age into consideration. I'm trying to be in bed at a reasonable hour tonight. Don't let me get too wild. Hey. Don't worry, dude. I'll keep an eye on your fruit punch intake. You know, I'm really glad we were bros again. Me too, dude. Brian and Hazel peek out behind Craig. The little ones. Hi. Hi, yeah. Thank you for all that ice cream gig. Mm. Wait, girls. How much of that did you eat? Briar ate four pieces. Ask any witness. No, I didn't. Hazel ate four pieces. Once dependent on me because we look alike. I hate your. <laughs> I have your face. No one will ever believe you. Oh boy. Oh. Uh, wow. Hey. That sank soon. Congrats. Oh, Joseph. Looks like you've settled in this neighborhood quite nicely. Yep. Couldn't ask for a better cul-de-sac. Well, I'm glad. Hopefully, we'll see you at more church events. We got a big schedule planned for the rest of the year. Sure thing, Joseph. Maybe if you aren't doing anything later, we could hang out sometime. Sure, Joseph, that'd be great. I'm currently with Robert. Have a great day. He who comes up and we plate of mac and cheese. Mm. Perfect cheddar to mac ratio. Beautiful work. Thank you, Hugh. Keep a leash on your kid. He was trying to fight me at a movie. That wasn't cool. That wasn't cool. You know, I'm really pleased to see Amanda going to her dream school. I'm glad she turned out, turned it around for finals. I know, she's my kid, so she's awesome. That scholarship money will really help, because I'm not made out of money. Let's buy and pretend not to see Hugo. Anna, come say hi to your old teacher. Hey, congratulations on graduating. I know you're going to do great things at art school. Aha, yeah, thanks. Finger gun your way out. Starts to back away. Wait, I just realized that you're not my teacher anymore, so I don't have to be afraid of talking to you. You no longer hold power over me. Hey. You're right. Go forth, adult. I can no I can no longer give you attention. Yeah, I'm gonna break anything I want. There's nothing you can do about it. I'm still mad about that time I gave you attention for breaking my globe. <laughs> nope. Oh. And I'll have you know that that globe didn't even fit through the basketball hoop in the first place. But in the college is fine. Hey. Hey, man. Matt. Let me know when Amanda leaves her college. I'll have a fresh batch of the talking. Of the talking banana breads ready for her. Thank you. I know she'll love that. What a splendid garden party. My deepest thanks for extending an invitation to my son and I. This ice pot cake is divine. Oh, Damien. Our first love. I still I still love you, Damien. I swear. Yeah, thanks, dude. Good cake. <laughs> thanks for coming by. Fire starts to wind down. I take a seat on our back porch step. The sun is setting and everyone seems to have eaten their fill. Amanda wanders over and sits down next to me. Killer party, Pops. What can I say? I was inspired. So, I uh, also have something for you. For me? Why? Not to be completely genuine about my feelings or once for anything, but growing up wasn't easy. But it could have been a lot harder if it wasn't for you. Dad, you've really been there for me through everything. There's some times in my life when you were my only friend. Aww. I 
was really scared of going to college being so far away from you. But I realized that everything you've done for me has been to prepare me for this. And I'm ready. I wouldn't be who I am today without you. Don't cry. Don't cry. I swear to God, Anson, if you cry again, you're the best, Dad. I love you. And I'm crying. <laughs> anyway. That was enough emotional vulnerability for one day. <laughs> Present time. Amanda hands me a tiny wrap package. I took the wrapping off to find a framed picture of me and Amanda. It's us. Hmm. Kind of shocking. If all our photo albums are just pictures of me, huh? Figured we need at least one together before I leave. Amanda, thank you. Watching you grow up has been the happiest experience of my life. You're such a talented, intelligent young woman. And I'm so excited to see what the future holds for you. Knock him dead, kid. He Always do. Amanda and I share a hug. This is only the beginning, Pops. Plenty more memories for us down the road. Memories to make, stuff to break, right? Ugh. Oh, I'm gonna break so much stuff. Intentionally and unintentionally. You're probably gonna have to pay for most of it. It would be my honor. Hell. You know I've started some fires in my day. Amanda pops up. Uh, looks like someone's been waiting to talk to you. I glance over to the back of the yard where Robert is sitting on a bench beneath our cherry blossom tree. He smiles at me. There it is. I'll leave you to it. Me and the Emmas are gonna go get ice cream. <laughs> Love you, Pops. Amanda runs off to join her friends. I take a seat next to Robert as the last guests make their way out of the party. Hey. Hey! <laughs> Gestures vaguely to the snack table. Good stuff. Yep. So... I had a chance to talk to Val. Uh. She physically threatened you? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. That's my girl. She said you've been doing better. <laughs> Trying to work on the vices. I also showered today. <laughs> we sit in silence for a moment. You know, every day for me is a battle against my own self-destructive habits. But lately, it's gotten a little easier. I don't know. Thanks for talking some sense into me. It's hard to get things through my thick skull sometimes, but what you said that night has actually helped. I'm glad. Mm -hmm. I like you, Hanson. I like you a lot. I haven't felt this way about someone in a long time. I lean in and kiss him for a moment before he pulls away. He takes my hand in his. Mm. You're special to me. Uh. But I have some stuff I need to work on and uh, emotionally before I can get into anything romantic with you. You deserve better than who I am right now. I need to be on my own for a bit, figure some things out. Of course. I think we need right now is a friend and I'm very happy to be that for you. Mm. Thank you, that means a lot to me. And if you're ever ready for more than that, you know where to find me. Mm. Sunt goes some time? I would love that. I put my head on his shoulder when we watch the sun slowly drip below, dip below this horizon together. Ah. Uh. I... I mean, it was hopeful, but part of me is just not completely certain. Is that the good ending? I mean, it seemed like it. It wasn't obviously as decisive as with Damien, who obviously was in a way better place in their life, but I at least feel somewhat validated in my, my feelings that there was something I knew that he had problems. I definitely sensed that. But I think we I think we we got to something there. We we helped. I'm not certain if I'm satisfied. I feel like I hunger for a lot more. I want to know how that further plays out, but I mean, we were we were there. We we got him. We this is that's that's Robert, and I will say he was a much more endearing character than I think anyone would have initially uh, perceived. Of course, with the kind of rough, you know, it's always it's always dark here. 
uh, look about him, you would think that he wouldn't be uh, quite the quite the man he is, but he he wants to change. And damn it, I I think I only like Robert more for having uh, <laughs> having interacted with him a bit more. I think that's uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. I I'm happy about that. Though I will say. As uh, we've hung out with Mary more and done a little bit more in our... Oh, yeah! Confirmation! Oh, that's so cute! Oh, I was like, I think that's... I think that's little Betsy. A little, little carving there. Oh, cute. But, um... Yeah, it makes me wonder more about... It makes me wonder more about Joseph there. There's something... There's something up. We, we may have to investigate that. That may just be our next endeavor. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for stopping by. And uh, Robert thanks you as well.